Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from a tiny book about.com and mindful marketplace where uh, most of the folks watching this may know me from already. Uh, but essentially, we're publishing a whole series of, I hope, paradigm changing uh, processes for folks who want to write inspirational uh, books, nonfiction books that build your brand and your business. And we're actually teaching this process uh, in our course community as well. I just actually, this has been published for a couple of days. I actually just changed the price and, um, changed the cover. So it will need to be, you know, reapproved. And this is, again, I'm recording this on uh, the 20th of May, 2023. This should be live again in the Amazon store in the next 12 hours or so. But I wanted to share the core concept behind this book for those of you who may not want to actually buy the tiny book. Again, it's only 99 cents. Um, so if you're interested in having the book, you can actually, uh, you know, get it from the from the Amazon store. But this is the core concept and it's tiny books, big ideas. This is a whole series of uh, nonfiction oriented uh, tutorials that I'm actually publishing in a series of tiny uh, increments to, you know, kind of exemplify the ethos and the approach that we're actually teaching. So you can actually see the real books in the real world if you're interested in writing a book yourself. But this is uh, the core uh, sort of idea that I'm trying to convey in this uh, first book in the series, which is a transformation turnstile, which, you know, in, in simpler language is an end experience, is how you ought to think about your book. You shouldn't be thinking about writing a bestseller or making just a shit ton of book sales, because that's not going to help you nearly as much as offering a end experience for a small percentage of your readers that they can actually participate in in the real world with you right so you can sell a thousand books a month uh for 2.99 a month on amazon right and you can make two thousand dollars a month you get 60 you know six percent of that let's say roughly so that's about two bucks per book or you can uh you know have your book priced in you can give your book away or you know or, or you can hustle and essentially have a high price book that you're actually selling a high end service through the book which is what i call the transformation turnstile and you may only sell you know 50 books uh, a month rather than a thousand but if you get one person in that uh, readership who actually wants to take you up on a you know five thousand dollar a year coaching program or an event or a course community or a you know a, a product ties sort of offer that you're making you're you know you only need a couple sales a month to two and three x what you would make selling a thousand books a month which by the way is a lot of books most people will never sell a thousand books a month on amazon so you know I probably said that a little bit too convoluted, uh, Lee, if that's a word for this particular video, but you want to have an end experience, which is actually the work that you're doing in the world. That's a high end offer, you know, whether you're a chiropractor, a life coach, a event coordinator, a teacher, you know, a consultant, a, you know, religious or spiritual leader or figure, a mental health professional, a therapist, etc right i mean you want to actually offer an experience which again we call transformation turnstile and remember only a small percentage of your readers are going to participate in that it's not something that you know if you sell 50 books or a thousand books that you know 48 out of the 50 are going to buy your thing at the end you're going to have a very small percentage and that's a feature not a bug you don't want you know everybody who's reading your book to be signing up for your coaching service your therapy offer or your you know event or whatever i mean in a perfect world i guess you could argue that can't be a terrible thing but you really only want to target a small subset of your readers who are your ideal audience or quintessential client and just you know have a slow but steady trickle of people over the course of let's say a year um, you know, who are signing up for a high end service that you can actually allocate the time, effort and energy to transform 
their lives, all right? The features of the transformation turnstile are as follows. It has a sacred gated space that you can control. It has a clear leader, which is you in this case, a clear outcome, a clear deadline, and a clear before and after moment. So a rock star result that advertises itself as immediately obvious. Like for an example, the example I like to give uh, all the time is you know, if you're teaching people how to write a book, like we're doing, the rock star result is before they met you, they hadn't r r published a book. After you've worked with them, they have published a book. So that advertises itself as immediately obvious, right? There's a rock star result that they've actually gotten by dint of working with you, all right? It has a clear cohort, which, you know, in this case is a limit to how many folks can participate at once. So like small groups, you know, scarcity, that sort of thing. I don't like those traditionally, you know, kind of like fear of missing out sort of psychological triggers, but that it works. And it also is helpful to say, you know, this, uh, you know, event that we have coming up or this course or this community has space for 50 people, right? I mean, it just works better and it allows you to actually filter and funnel the right audience into your end experience. All right. All this is animated by this idea that people are inspired by words, but they're transformed by experiences. Your book is a bridge. Its sole responsibility is to build a walkway between your words, which is you know the book, and your work in the world, right? Very, very simple. And it really is only for those of you who want to write nonfiction books. This has nothing to do with writing stories or fiction or that sort of thing, right? It's for those of us who want to use books to build our brand, our business, and ultimately our bank accounts, right? A bridge book is also designed to be tiny by design, right? It's intended to be small. It offers this completion bias and the dopamine dump that folks will actually feel when they finish a book. Most people don't finish their books. I mean, something like 17% of, of books are, you know, completed or whatever on Kindle, right? I mean, people generally don't finish what they start. And when you actually give people an experience that they complete, there's this bias that they're going to offer to you or can confer to you in, in that they actually did finish a thing. That feels good. I mean, it feels like you're being productive and it gives folks the idea that, you know, you are the right person to help them with this problem or this challenge that you're actually addressing in the book. All right. And of course, if they don't finish the book, they aren't going to see your end experience or the transformation turnstile you're offering at the end. Remember, a book like this can be written in a weekend and read in an hour. The Amazon book that I published here, you know, again, it's priced, uh, you know, at 99 cents, but it's literally each one of these took me uh, about a day to write and it was just you know, more a question of organizing my content because the content was already written and putting it all into a series of books. It's designed to be read in literally uh, an hour, right? I mean, people will walk away from this little book with an idea that will be certainly helpful for building their brand and business with a book as the bedrock uh, marketing strategy. All right. Think small, but serious, finite focus, not fierce focus. People talk about being really focused. It's the finite focus that matters. One topic, one tiny topic at a time, one tiny trigger, one tiny transformation. That's the entire experience that each book is designed to uh, create. All right. Tiny books, big experiences. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Again, this is our, uh, you know, our motto, our, our, uh, our mantra. And if you truly want to write a book that changes the world and changes your life, and it's a nonfiction book and you are an entrepreneur, I encourage you to uh, come write with us. Uh, you know, a tiny book about.com is our new publishing platform. And we focus on inspirational authors uh, and, you know, enlightened entrepreneurs and essentially enlightened in this case simply means people who have an entrepreneurial bent with an idea that's enlightening to their 
or, or to your, uh, you know, particular audience or, you know, cl client base, and it really needs help getting that message out into the world. And that's where we come in. So I would hope that if this is helpful for you, uh, you know, you apply this in your own life, whether you, you know, buy this tiny book here or not, I'm not going to show it to you again. Uh, but if you'd like to get in touch with me, uh, send an email mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com or visit us a tiny book about.com to learn more about uh, what we have planned for 2023 and way beyond. Thanks so much. As always, I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching and have a wonderful weekend.